the next topic regarding ecosystem is ecological succession which is another function of ecosystem we have seen that the three border heads under functions of ecosystem is ecological succession one then energy flow which we have dealt and the biogeochemical cycles which we will be dealing in another session so regarding ecological succession it is a gradual and progressive replacement of one community by another community until a stable community is being reached which is in equilibrium with the ecosystem that is the slower process or the slower and progressive replacement of one community of organisms by another community and this progress or this progression will go until a stable community is formed which is in equilibrium with the environment so that process of the gradual replacement of one community by another community is what is termed as ecological succession that is successively this process is being developing now this is a process through which the ecosystem tend to change over a period of time that is ecosystem is not at all the same or we can say environment is not a static one it is continuously going or undergoing so this process or ecological succession is the process through which the ecosystem tend to change over a period of time and in ecological succession there will be successive stages and these stages are known as seer these stages are known as seer and the community that is eventually what happens at the end of the succession a community will be formed which is in equilibrium with the environment and that community is known as the climax community so successive stages of the ecological succession is known as seer is known as seer and the community which is eventually formed which is in equilibrium with the environment or that stable community is known as the climax community which is formed at the end of the succession okay So, in, uh, once climax community is reached, no further changes will be going for that community. Next, another one is the pioneer community or the pioneer species. That is the first community or the first species to occupy that area or to colonize that area is known as the pioneer species. Okay, now what are the characteristics of succession? We have told that it is a gradual process, it is a progressive process and changes are being seen which means that the organisms will be becoming more diverse in nature and there will be changes in the physical environment and the changes can be predictable uh, on the basis of the organisms that are inhibiting or that are undergoing succession and also as the succession progresses this will amount to increase in complexity in the food web since it is becoming more diverse the food web also will become more complex so these are some characteristics of succession now succession have been classified into two types that is the primary succession and the secondary succession so we are first seeing what is primary succession So regarding primary succession, it occurs on a surface or it occurs in an area where there was no ecosystem previously. That is in that particular area there was no ecosystem existing previously and a fresh ecosystem is being successively developed. So that succession is known as primary succession. It is happening on a surface where no previously existed ecosystems were there for example uh, bare rock it uh, means this 
primary succession is starting from a bare surface that is rock take the examples of rock so there organisms will be inhibiting who doesn't require soil to thrive so what happens organisms like lichens we'll deal with lichens in the next slide the organisms like lichens algae etc they does not require soil for their living so what happens is that they inhibit this bare surfaces without soil or life and then what they do is that they form the pioneer species so with respect to that bare surface where no ecosystem have previously existed what happens a new species is coming and inhibiting that is say lichens so what happens lichens form the pioneer species lichens form the pioneer species in the primary uh, succession so what happens is that once they have inhibited the area they'll live there and finally what happens when they die or after their dead and decaying matter is being exposed what happens this along with the weathering process as time passes what happens weathering also takes place through different weathering agents that is be it rain or wind etc weathering means there what happens is that this bare rocks is being fragmented into smaller particles by different weathering agents so along with this process of weathering and when this lichens have transformed into the dead and decaying matter what happens is that they helps in the formation of soil they helps in the formation of soil so once that particular bare surface was not having any ecosystem at all then what happened lichens came and inhibited and with further succession what happened is that they with their dead and decaying matter along with weathering process they helped in the formation of soil now this is conducive for the inhabitants of other organisms which require soil for their survival so that other organisms or community of organisms continue to develop it replaces this species or uh, when this lichens or algae get disappear with the coming of other invasive species and this process continues this succession continues so this is regarding primary succession so you have to keep in mind in primary succession the uh, pioneer species or the first to inhabit that bare surface will be the lichens and then their dead and decaying matter will leave behind the organic matter required for the formation of soil along with weathering process so that it is now conducive for other organisms to come and thrive so lichens as they are the pioneer species of the primary succession these lichens are actually a symbiotic relationship between fungi and algae okay they are a sharing a symbiotic relationship that is the fungi and algae are sharing a symbiotic relationship so what is the symbiosis it's a way of survival by these organisms where they are living for mutual benefit that is the algae and fungi which together forms lichen here the fungi will absorb the water and the nutrients required and in turn what algae do is the part of photosynthesis it prepares food through photosynthesis so that both are benefiting from each other in this relationship so this relationship is known as symbiosis and in lichens it is algae and fungi who are living in this symbiotic relationship and algae prepares food by photosynthesis and the fungi absorbs water and required minerals and over time what happens is that they break the they break down the rocks along with what weathering happens and further the complete breakdown of rocks happens soil formation takes place other organisms invades the surface so this is how lichens is forming the pioneer species in 
primary succession and you have to keep in mind that this lichens is a very good bio indicator which means that it is a pollution indicator it changes to the i mean it responds to the changes in the environment because lichens uh, does not grow abundant in areas of areas expo which are, which are exposed to high rates of pollution so they are regarded as a bio indicator or pollution indicator so that's regarding lichens next comes secondary succession so what is secondary succession secondary succession occurs on a surface where an ecosystem have previously existed okay and that have been disturbed or destroyed by some natural or man made causes so that again a succession is taking place in that surface for example take the case of a forest ecosystem and this forest ecosystem was destroyed by some natural forces like floods earthquakes droughts uh, floods or earthquakes or or uh, forest fires natural forest fires and this uh, what happens is that once it is destroyed after this will be regenerated in forms of shrubs or herbs which means that once it was a forest ecosystem and now it is being developed or where once an ecosystem prevailed from there now again a succession is taking place so such type of succession is known as secondary succession means there once ecosystem was there but it was destroyed by some natural or man made causes so that is known as secondary succession and secondary succession when it come when it is compared with primary succession it is faster and it has different pioneer species when compared with the primary succession and example is the herbs reoccupying a area of forest which was destroyed by some factors maybe natural or man made so that's regarding secondary succession there are also other types of succession for example autogenic and allogenic succession so what is autogenic succession autogenic succession is the type of succession where succession is being initiated by the community inhibiting there itself or we can say that the biotic community itself is being involved in this succession such type of succession is known as autogenic succession and allogenic is where some external factors is being involved in the succession or some uh, factors outside that is driven by abiotic factors such succession are known as allogenic succession now uh, example for autogenic um, means the in autogenic succession what should be there the inhabitants of that particular ecosystem must be involved in this succession for example the anthropogenic climate change it is an example where anthropogenic climate change means the climate change which is caused by the actions of human and that particular factor is contributing to autogenic succession whereas non anthropogenic climate changes which is the climate change which is happening due to natural causes is coming under allogenic because it is external it is not causing because of the uh, factors present in the ecosystem it is causing because of the abiotic or the external factors another classification is autotrophic and heterotrophic autotrophic succession is where there is dominance of autotrophs in the early stages of succession as the term suggests heterotrophic will be the dominance of heterotrophs in the early stages of succession and the autotrophic succession begins in inorganic environment and heterotrophic begins in the organic environment so these are other two types of succession 